Hi, I'm Tim Fost, and if your videos are going to include any interviewing or it's a sort of documentary, a useful tool is always going to be adding good-looking captions. These are generally called lower thirds in the TV industry because, logically enough, they occupy the lower third of the image. You see lower thirds all the time in interviews and news broadcasts and sport. It can be as simple as a bit of text over the image, going up to complex animated graphics. For me, a good bottom third is either simple text or adding a graphic and a background which the text sits on. Whichever way you do it, the important thing is to make the text easy to read. So let's look at text only. This is relatively easy, but there are a couple of things to look out for. If you're identifying speakers, decide what it will include. Their name, obviously, but who they're speaking for, and possibly their position. It's an idea to have a different font size for each element, but do try and resist the temptation to mix different fonts. Choose a plain font like Arial. The font size will come out at around 14 to 16 points. Usually go for white as a colour, although you can give it a slight tint if you want. Adding an outline is very important, as this puts a line around the letters so that they can always be read, no matter what the image behind it is doing. If you've got white text, set this to black and set the outline width to say around 3 or 4 for this sort of text size. Move the text in the preview window so it's in the right place and stretch it on the timeline to 8 to 10 seconds. Now add a fade in and a fade out by dragging on the top corners and pulling them in a bit. If you need to do more of these captions then copy and paste it and just change the text. So that's the basic text bottom third. You can make it a bit more impressive by adding a graphic and a bit of background. So go to your picture editor and create the image you want to use. I find it easiest to create a canvas size the same as your video size. Here it's 1920 by 1080. Now place the graphics box in it to the right size and position. You can put a graphic element to the left and then a background panel to go behind the text and then save the whole thing as a transparent PNG file. Now back in Vegas, drop the graphic on the timeline underneath the text and set it again to say 10 seconds long. Because you know what the background to the text will be, you don't need the outline. So create the text in the same way as before, place it over the graphics box and make it also 10 seconds long. Create a fade in on the start and at the end of the text and the same again on the graphics. And there you have a neat bottom third. If it's going to be used several times, make them into a group by control clicking on the image and the text and press G. Then you can copy and paste it to a new position and just simply change the text. If you'd like to go a step further and get some movement in, on the bottom third, check out the advanced bottom third tutorial that I've also done. If you like this, give it a like, and of course, why not subscribe?